Welcome to New York. So the first place that I went to was Figlia. The pasta is delicious. Delicious. I can't say it enough, it's delicious. Um, this is a restaurant that has indoor and outdoor seating. They sell wood oven pizzas and they also sell homemade pastas. Everything there is completely fresh. The vibe is very calm, relaxing, and um, it's just a beautiful restaurant. Customer service is amazing and I can't wait to go back. Everyone that I went with had a great time and it was actually the last place that I went to at the end of my trip. So I actually went there twice because I just couldn't get enough of their pasta. think that me arriving to New York, going to Figlia, eating, I would be satisfied. No, I'm not. After that, we went to Brooklyn Music Kitchen and it was a complete blast. Not only did we eat delicious food again, but we heard some great music and my brother-in-law was actually performing that night. So what I love about Brooklyn Music Kitchen is that it allows for new and global artists to showcase their music to the community which is beautiful. So the following day, I went to New Capital Diner. I met up with a great friend of mine, Tammy. And the reason why I kept it in this video because it's a diner. It's not a very fancy location. It's not a place that sells, you know, radical dishes it doesn't have live music but i kept it in here because it is a staple of kingsbridge it's a staple of the bronx love this diner and i love getting my same dish which is french fries with sausages and ketchup so if you go there you want a, a quick place to grab a bite you can check out new capital diner <laughs> When I did this portion of the video where I spoke about Safori, I feel like I got too emotional. And if you know me, you know I'm not an emotional person at all. And I always keep my emotions very private. So that's why I've decided to record this portion again. And I also wanted to do justice to Safori because when I did go there, I had a wonderful time. So Safori is a Mediterranean restaurant located in the heart of Scarsdale. They serve dishes such as Mediterranean meatballs, salads, soups, and pastas, of course. Jafresi took me there to celebrate my birthday, which was a total surprise, and I had a blast. Um, the food was delicious, everything that I ate was good, and the customer service was on point. So. If you're ever in Scarsdale and you're looking for a cozy little restaurant with a fancy vibe, you can always check out Safori. During the course of this trip, I did go to my best friend's house and as always, he did cook for me. Um, while he was cooking for me, he discussed this restaurant called Shanka and spoke to me about a bone marrow ramen. I had never heard of anything like this before and he knows that I love ramen, so we just had to check it out. Shanka is a very top rated restaurant in New York and it has so many accolades that I could not remember them all, so I posted them right here for you guys. One of the things that I enjoyed the most from Shanka, aside from their bone marrow ramen, is their lo lobster tacos, which were delicious. 
So if you're ever near Chinatown and you want to try something new, go to Shenka and get their bone marrow ramen. It's actually the only place in the city that sells it. And I know this because before we ventured into Chinatown from Harlem to Chinatown, I did call several other ramen restaurants and no one knew what I was talking about. And um, the trip from Harlem to Chinatown was well worth it because Shanka's vibe is really chic, really cozy. The atmosphere is nice. Customer service was also on point and their food was delicious. So I'm super grateful we went. I'm super grateful we took the trip and I'm more than grateful that he brought it up and we ventured there. So yeah, go to Shanka. <laughs> I have to stop by Elsa, La Reina de los Chicharrones in Dykeman, and I have to get an order of chicharrones with tostones. That's just a given. I do it all the time. I love going there, and I suggest you go there too and try it. <laughs> Wait, what's a chicharron? A chicharron is fried pork belly. For those that don't know, it's just fried pork belly. They chop it up into little pieces and they put it with your tostones and if you love fried food like I do you have to get it you just have to try it <laughs> So for years now, I've been going to Mid-Atlantic Fish Market with my dad and it's just a father-daughter thing that we do because we both love seafood, again we both love fried food. He can no longer eat shrimp, um, he's reached an age where he's allergic to shrimp now but he still takes me and he gets pieces of fish, fried fish and I still get our staple uh, meal that we used to get when I was a kid which is fried shrimp with tostones and you know this fish market has been there for as long as I can remember and I just love going to 181st in Washington Heights and getting some fried fish. <laughs> The girls on this trip wanted to take me somewhere nice, somewhere different, and they ended up taking me to New Jersey and we went to Brownstone Pancake Factory. And the milkshake that I got was really good. I'm lactose intolerant. I make executive decisions in my life when I wanna feel sick or if it's worth me feeling sick after having some dairy. And this was a day. It was good, the shakes were great. The pipe price was right and they have parking. Only thing is that it's in Jersey. <laughs> At the time of this video, Jessica still lived in Astoria and she had a signature bagel place that she loved going to and it's called New York City Bagel Coffee House and the inside, the interior of this place is, is amazing. When you walk in, there's um, a red curtain and when you pull the red curtain back, you just see the whole restaurant and it's, it's truly beautiful in there and I got their signature rainbow bagel, which was really good. I got it with cream cheese and chives. So I was fed up. This is the last place I went to. I was fed up with 
these ice creams popping up on my Instagram stories and I had to go check it out. I went to Taiyaki, if I'm pronouncing it wrong, I'm so sorry. And it's a Japanese ice cream shop. It's that ice cream you all see that has the waffle cone shaped like a fish. I went there, I saw, I tasted, and I enjoyed it. And again, I cannot have dairy, but I enjoyed it. I did enjoy that ice cream. It was really good. Um, yeah, and I got my sister a donut. I didn't put it in this video, but I got her a donut. We weren't gonna take any chances with her having ice cream. And these were the places I went to in New York that I highly recommend you guys to go. At least try it one time. It doesn't hurt to try new foods. <laughs> thank you guys for reaching the end of my video thank you so much for watching i hope you liked and subscribed and in the great words of james elliott no man can be wise on an empty stomach so go check out these places create new memories and i hope you enjoy the food mm -hmm.